Okay, sitting inside of Parlor Donuts. I've never eaten here before, but I can order almost any donut, gluten, gluten or vegan friendly. So I'm not sure what this means. Um, this could be revolutionary for, for sale. We would literally probably move to a location, I think based on two things, a church and gluten-free donuts. Now I'm personally not gluten, gluten sensitive. Um, the girls in our house are, but I'm looking at donuts right now. There's like a cinnamon roll sandy beach. That's a gluten-free donut, a turtle, a bourbon caramel, a churro, a maple pecan, a cookies and cream, a carnival donut. These are all gluten-free options. I mean, usually you go into a, a donut store and you get like three choices if you're really, really lucky. Uh, and those choices are usually strawberry, chocolate, or vanilla. But um, this is pretty cool. And here we go, the big reveal. Oh my goodness. So we've got banana cream pie. That's a cinnamon and carnival. Which one are you going for first? Um, the one with the sprinkles on top. I'm just trying a little tiny bite. So the carnival, all right. Carnival. Are they dry like a typical gluten-free donut? Or do they actually have good flavor? Um, well, here's the thing. Not all gluten-free donuts are typically dry. These aren't even dry. These are like doughy. They almost taste like they're not like cooked. Well, this this one is, ex like this one right here okay. is extremely, like really fluffy and light. I mean, it's... No, you gotta try it. Oh. They're gorgeous. Man, why do we, do we have to sacrifice, you know, pretty for, for good? Yeah. It's, it's, try it. Okay. Yeah. Well, Here. maybe you should got to try the other one. Maybe, like, that's better. I'll try a little bit of cinnamon, but the problem is it's the same It's dough. the same donut, which so is the different. So it doesn't matter what you put on top of it. I'm dying to find some cold homemade root beer. And look at, here it's some um, homemade, homemade root beer, $2 a bottle. Oh, that looks so good. And right there, you just go ahead and you put the money right in there and take your root beer. Oh, it's cold. Oh, yeah. Let's see how it tastes. How good is it, Dad? I mean, I've tasted better root beer. It's a little. It's, I would say it's a little nice. bitter. Okay, that's generous. Taste I've tasted this. better root yeah, beer. I'm trying to be nice. Oh. it is close to Dutch Wonderland. I mean, that makes it pretty cool on its own, but this is probably one of the most peaceful RV parks that we've been to in a long time. So let me just take you around and show you a couple of things that the Dutch Wonderland campground has to offer. So we are calling this the calm before the storm. We are at Dutch Wonderland. Right now, Dutch Wonderland is closed. And this is, I'm, you can see I am kicking back in my chair, looking at whatever the name of that coaster is. So this is going to go from a quiet, serene, peaceful campsite to all day screaming and yelling. But you know what? I think that's cool. I mean, we knew that that was going to be the case when we got here, so we're not complaining. We're just enjoying the quiet 
before the storm. So this campground does have a lot. Um, one of the things that you will see up here is it has a fantastic arcade area. I mean, not fantastic, but I mean, for a park this size to even have an arcade area is pretty cool. So uh, check out the arcade area. It's just really nice. Kids would love being in here. So just a nice little office where you can go in and check in and also get your tickets for Dutch Wonderland. Place that you can purchase uh, wood. I mean, I don't think it's a horrible price at six ninety nine. Another thing that I have not seen a lot of in most campgrounds is that you can also stop and get air, which I think we're going to do a little bit later. I know I have a tow dolly with some low air in the tire, so I thought that's pretty cool. The playground is nothing special, but Ketch has loved coming over here. I know Arliss and he have shot some baskets. It has a little pickleball court. But I think this is one of the coolest parts, this walk right here, where there is a little creek that runs the entire length of this campground. You can fish from it. And these are the best sites. If you want to get like the 100 level all the way down here, these are the best sites because not only are they close to the playground, but they are also have the best view of the Amish farmland. You can see over there that they're, looks like they got a nice fire going over there. But they said in the fall, you can come out and you can watch them harvest by hand uh, the crops. The other thing that's really kind of cool about this is that it's so close to Amish land that not only you can see them harvesting over there, but you can also, on the weekends, they have an Amish cart that comes around. It's the Amish pie cart, where you can buy things from peanut butter cookies to shoe fly pie to root beer, lemonade, tons of really, really good Amish baked goods. And we just happened to get the shoe fly pie which I had for the very first time and loved. Look at this view. Well, one of the things that we wanted to try and find is we wanted to taste a shoe fly pie. To this day, I couldn't even tell you what I'm tasting or looking at. So we called Arliss because we were away. So Arliss, can you please go over and get us a shoe fly pie? And he went over shoe fly pie. So yeah, you can shoe fly pie. Thank you so much, Arlie, for getting a shoe fly pie. Dad, someone's raising their hand. You, you'll try shoe fly pie? Uh -huh. I'm allergic to some. I don't think it's. Yeah. It's got ingredients are molasses, water, sugar, eggs, flour, lard, salt, baking powder, soda, and cream of tartar. All right. So that is shoe fly pie and that's what it looks like on the plate okay here we go shoe fly pie i'm gonna try some shoe fly pie i'm gonna try yeah it is really good okay oh uh, your facial expressions so, no i'm trying to think of like what i can compare it to it's really really good i mean you really taste i mean it's it's is basically it like in it, or what is it? no is it it's, kind of almost like a fig and date it is thing? yeah uh -huh. yeah but but you can really taste like the sweet molasses mm -hmm. is part of it but I do. I'm a shoe fly fan. R regardless of how popular the song is now, I don't think I, I'm not a rhubarb fan. Okay. You know. I don't like rhubarb. But you haven't had it with like strawberry, strawberry rhubarb. Is your fancy? No, I yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a pie I don't like. I don't I don't like a lot of I coconut don't pies. Don't. Oh, you don't. Mm -hmm. I don't need. I didn't. I just I, I, don't, need I don't believe in discrimination. I think the other thing that I noticed too is that you can't walk 20 feet without having a conversation with somebody. It's a unique thing about campers and campgrounds is that everybody is always so nice and they're always so willing to talk and especially if you put a cute dog as you're walking around, you're just going to increase that conversation tenfold. Now as we walk over by the Dutch Wonderland theme park itself, I think you're probably going to think that maybe the noise would be distracting but we were here in the afternoon when the noise was going on and honestly I really didn't notice it I think it's kind of peaceful hearing the roller coaster go by and 
It's kind of really cool white noise. It is the last day. So we were initially going to head into Philadelphia, but we're just kind of tired. And you know, you get to that point where you can push it and try to do things that you think are fun, but then they end up really being ruined just because nobody, I think, is in the mood to do them. So we are going to save Independence Hall and a couple of other, the, uh, other Philadelphia things, my cheesesteak, um, for a later date. And we're going to uh, head on back to North Kakalaki. So thanks so much for joining us. I hope, it, I hope you get a chance to get up here. Pennsylvania is absolutely beautiful. So without further ado, we'll see you down the road. It is, but only Nike. There's flies in there too. Do you, I, 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 you can't seem to find.